You were one of the first radiation oncologists to perform CyberKnife surgery on men with prostate cancer. Yeah. What is it? Is it surgery? Is it radiation? And who is the ideal candidate? Yeah, yeah. so I have, a, I have a picture of it. So what a CyberKnife is, it's a regular radiation machine or a linear accelerator that's been miniaturized and placed on a robotic arm. So the advantage of it is it's intelligent and the prostate moves like an airplane, XYZ, pitch, roll, and yaw. So the CyberKnife is able to track the movement of the prostate with an accuracy of less than one millimeter, so less than the diameter of a piece of hair. So we're able to give wow. super high doses of radiation to the prostate and less radiation to the normal surrounding anatomy. Patients that are a candidate, if you're a candidate for surgery, you're most likely a candidate for CyberKnife. Again, I don't think one's better than the other. I think many times they're equal. But if you're a surgical candidate, in all likelihood, you're going to be a CyberKnife candidate. In general, it's patients that have disease confined to the prostate where it's not metastasized outside because um, that's a different case. You know, if you have lymph nodes involved, if you have other things, then you're probably not a good candidate for CyberKnife alone, but then you may also not be a good candidate for surgery alone. And it's painless, right? Yeah, you don't feel it. Um, we do put markers, tiny little marker seeds in called fiducials. That's a three-minute procedure top. So I'm the one that kind of trains everyone on that. But you're just laying flat on the table for about a half hour, not even. We, we've gotten, we're now down to about 20 minutes, a fraction. I'm listening to music, and then you kind of you drive yourself, and you can kind of leave on your own. Many of our patients work that week, so it's all outpatient.